Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the land of yogurt, uh, national debt, and bloody meats. That's right, we're playing Greece in the Great War mod today. I don't know if I'll try to do, well, maybe revive Byzantium and stuff like that, but either way, let's just get right into it and have some fun. You know what, our first major decision, we're gonna appoint Venezuelos, which means we'll have to do everything with the, what you might call it, Entente, Entente, that's right. Well, we should join the Bulgarians and Serbians and the <clears throat> the ones that should not shall not be named, <laughs> demonetized, and the Balkan League, and let's just wait for them to... We're not gonna be the ones that will start the liberation, we're just gonna join it. Well, Italy declared war on the Ottomans, which means we have to attack war on them as well, soon, soonish, yeah. Well, I do believe it's time to liberate the Balkans. To start the idea, let's hope that everybody else is ready and let's just go for it, lads. Well, the work has broken out and we shall try to encircle as many Ottomans div Ottoman divisions as possible and push as far north as possible as well. Just, you know, get that, get those casualties up for them. Well, that went way too successfully. <laughs> like, we're, we're about to win at any minute now, like surely it will just negotiate for a peace treaty and that will be the end of it, right? Well, we shall retreat, well, retreat. Focus back at Greece and wait for everything to happen. Now, yeah. Maybe I could... Nah, just partial mobilization for now. Guys, can we just end the war? Like, we have already won. We all got all of our gold, so... Can you just stop? Please? No? Okay. Ah, yes. Peace in the Balkans at last. I'm sure this will last forever and ever and ever. Right? <laughs> Uh, we all know what that means. Well, I do believe we are going to war, going to war with Bulgaria any second now. Speak of it, <laughs> just happened. Yeah, let's know what is Romania has just joined us. We shall win now for sure, for sure. Yeah, the Ottomans also joined. I think we all know what that means. GG. Well, that's the second Balkan War wrapped up. So let's just feel, let's chill for a while. Let's. We have just got to gotten to bloody annex crit which means i will just spend all the units and just well use the equipment for our own aha uh -huh. oh damn world war one's about to start well that doesn't concern us we're just gonna chill on the beaches of greece heck yeah oh no as the great war is about to start i also need to leave northern epirus sadly but we will be back my mark my words we will be back Oh no, a revolt. Who could have seen that one coming, eh? Huh. Shocker. We're gonna have to do the protocol, of course, for now. Oh no, shockingly enough, Belgium has just capitulated. Rip. You know what? We're gonna occupy Northern Epirus. Haha! You were expecting for us to not come back, but we did. We did a uh, good old switcheroo. We have to give Serbia a court for why? I don't know, like, it's just part of the game. Like, who knows why? Well, do not worry, we're slowly getting to join you on Taunton Taunty. Which means we all know, well, like, we're gonna become Byzantium soon. I mean, what? Well, it's time to invite the allied forces to land in Thessaloniki. Open a new front and stuff like that, you know? Well, it's time to establish the Macedonian front. <laughs> After that, well, we all know what that means. Haha. <laughs> Well, we're just slowly increasing our Venezuela support. Well, we all know what that means. Time for him to take power and lead us into the Great War. I don't know what that means, but I can see that it's not good by the message. Wait, 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 wait. Romania joined the war. You got this, bros. I believe in you. You got this. <laughs> They're gonna capitulate in five seconds. Well, we have organized the bloody, what you might call it. Uh, Thessaloniki front and yeah it, it won't go well will it now <laughs> I think I did a mistake yeah not gonna lie I wasn't ready for this <laughs> oh man the old man died <laughs> f in the chat boys f in the chat ah it's time to expand the front to Olympus oh my Russia's about to fall that's that's not good for us is it I don't think it is. Oh no, let's the Bolshevik coup has happened and the Soviet Russia exists, so yeah, that's that's not good, is it now? <laughs> well let's it's time to force the king to abdicate. Well no that means Greece shall be won once again. Whole one yeah, that thingy. You know what? We shall go with King Alexandros. Because he reminds me of Alexander the Great. 
Mm, nice. You know, I hate the fact that we had 35 factories all together. Now we only have 21. What happened? What went so wrong? Like, bro, how'd you mess it up that bad? No, I'm gonna be real with you for a second. This whole, like, war is a preparation just for me to invade the Ottomans after and just beat the living daylight out of them. No, I would do all their economic reforms. However, we do need to develop a vaccine for the influenza pandemic. That's right, it has hit us and we're gonna tackle the issue early on, so we'll be the first ones and the best ones at it. Yeah. Boys, the US of A has just joined the war. That surely spells doom for the central powers, right? Right? Yeah. Wait, what on earth is happening on the Western Front? The Germans just moved all their troops somewhere? What? Bruh. <laughs> Oh no, never mind, they just prepared for a new offensive. <laughs> Silly me. Hey, we just got rid of the influenza pandemic debuff. Let's go. <laughs> Whatever this event is, like, bruh, reckon 18. <laughs> oh, the armistice uh, uh, champagne happened. Which we all know marks the ending of the war. We have been successful, lads. We have won the war. Quite easy, I might, I have to say, chaps. Which, you know what, it's nice since we can now finally progress to our, <clears throat> the fun part of the focus tree. Ah yes, this ends, well, this marks the end of the war and we have been victorious. As you can see, Greece is kinda bigger now, haha. And just like this, the peace has been signed. As you can see, we have gotten Izmir and Eastern Trace, not all of it, but hey, we're gonna take it, we're gonna take it. Also, let's just prepare for the war with the... Well, not exactly the Ottomans, just the Turkish, you know, like, we all know what happens with the editor, like, the power of hindsight is on our side. There we go, the interbellum time has started, it is time for us to, com well, start doing the fun part, but we have to denounce the truce first, that's... That's one thing we have to do. Well, as all the shenanigans are happening in the world, we are going to start doing our own, haha! -ha. Okay, so Atatürk has taken power and I just hope we can, well, rush down this focus ASAP and just like cook them as fast as possible. <laughs> well, the Turkish national movement has taken over to what you would call it, Ottoman Empire and the puppet of Armenia. We can't have that, can we? No, we cannot. It's time for our war with Greece. We shall surely triumph. Right, guys? Guys? We'll triumph, right? Yeah. Okay, so far it has been going very historical since we are winning the war. <laughs> the keyword being so far, haha. <laughs> Let's... Do not worry, we are about to enter An Ankara, Ankira, whatever. Same thing. Never mind, we have just achieved victory in Asia Minor. GG, lads, GG. Dude, what are these borders? Why does Turkey have a core in the middle of Russia? Like, why? <laughs> it's time to expand the occupation. Please, UK, just give us the stuff. I'm trying to improve relations with you. Just be buds with us, okay? Please. Well, we did get some of the territory back, but not Constantinople and... Yeah. Like, it's fine. We're, we're okay with this. Can we demand more territory? <laughs> Bruh, calling the best doctor. <laughs> Bloody monkeys, man. Kill that monkey. Yeah. <laughs> he, it killed our king. How come? <laughs> Well, we shall negotiate for the straits. Let's see what happens. Please work. <laughs> okay, sure, I guess. Okay, yeah, but I, I don't mind. That's perfectly fine with me. Okay. <laughs> as long as we get Constantinople back. No, the Romano family has been executed. Rest in pieces, my friends. Rest in pieces. Well, it's time to declare war on Italy, not Italy, Albania, and retake out of bloody Northern Epirus. Well, with Northern Epirus captured, there's only one, well, two pieces of land left for us to conquer. Rhodes and Cyprus. Or retake, rather. Well, there's nothing left for do, since I just can't get the Venezuelists to win, and yeah. Guess I can't finish the focus and purchase Cyprus, but... Yeah, I've tried a lot of stuff, like anti all kinds of raids, so yeah, the only thing that I kinda can think of trying is if I just try to get the, uh, whatchamacallum, democratic reformer, but even then I can't get, so yeah. I guess I'll have to end it here, even though these guys, like, it's 50-50 right now, so 
Maybe I could do something, but I highly doubt it. Well, I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you had fun watching it. I hope you all enjoyed it. Otherwise, I wish you all to have a very nice day. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, I wish you adieu. Bye-bye.